guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see in front of me, I have got a bunch of stuff to play with today. We're gonna unbox these two boxes. I've got some plates from Maniology and a few other things. Today, I want to create a romantic Valentine's nail look that's not necessarily covered in hearts, but still says Valentine's. So let's go ahead and get into these boxes and see what's inside so we can go play. For the first box, I got this starter kit from Burry Burry, and I hope that I'm saying that right, but basically, they are known for their solid cream gels. So I have six here, and they are in nude colors. It comes with a little brush. It looks like we've got, let's see, our base, our top coat, and a brush cleaner and even a matte top coat, which is really cool. And then this is just like a whole kit of like tools and stuff, which I thought was really nice. So let me pop this open. So that looks used. That looks used. That's, that has been used before. That's kind of gross, but, we've, and that one too. <laughs> some toe separators, some nail oil. This is the same nail oil that you would get from Betsy. Now we've got some pearls to play with, different colors. I do have these. I've never used them before though, so maybe today we'll pop some pearls on here. We got some nail foils. I use these. I don't mind these kinds of nail foils. They're great for me because I don't go like super crazy long. Um, the only problem is sometimes they're not as sticky as I would like them to be. And then we've got some silver and some gold like liner strips that stick to your nail, or you can use them for different designs and stuff, but uh, these are skinny, so I would use them more for a design. Then we've got a gel brush. We have one of those cuticle like cutter things. I don't like these, because I don't know how to use them. They like rip my cuticle off. And then another cuticle pusher, some angled tweezers, which are always nice to have. We've got a tiny nail clipper, which looks fine. <laughs> Doesn't look used. And then some blue and like purplish pink glitter. Okay, so these are the solid nail gels from Burry Burry. They're numbered one through six. So that should be easy to find on their website. I think that I'm gonna go with number six today, which is more of like a cool toned pink. And I just think it suits the look that I'm going for. I'll pop my inspiration picture up on the screen. I kind of want to go for something like that. And I'll probably use some elements from this look and then I'm gonna make it my own. Now, I forgot to mention that that I did get a couple things from Maniology as well. I don't know if I'll be able to include them in this video, but I'm certainly going to try. I got this nail plate, which is M045, and it's sort of like a lovers and haters. So you've got like your lovers on one side and your haters on the other side, or sort of like a not into Valentine's kind of side, which I thought was really funny and cute. And then for this nail stamping kit that I got, whoa, this is Mani Kit 125. I got this plate in here and let me see there we go it's more like patterns but you also got like some single hearts up here so i may try to include i also like this so i might try to include some of this stuff somehow we shall see now the kit also comes with a red and a clear together so you know that'll be nice to have just in case but let me put that away for now and I'm gonna start like painting my nails with this. So let me clean my desk off once again <laughs> and we'll get into the actual nail look right now. I wanted to show you this because this brush was very hard when I first got it. So they also sent me some top coat that was in a tub. And so what I do is I just work that top coat into the brush. It softens the brush, but it also gets it ready for the solid gel. I know this thing's not stuck inside of there. So this is kind of a pain in the butt but it's kind of a really important step when you're working with like solid gel in like a tub. You wanna add a little top coat to your brush. And then what I'll do is I will just kind of like wipe it on this lint-free pad here. You could even like pull it in between, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna start applying this. I already put some of their base coat on. When it comes to this kind of stuff, you wanna pick up enough. Like I pick up like a good like round chunk of this stuff because if I don't, then it's kind of hard to like apply. So anyways, let's go ahead and get it on the nail. And this is a beautiful color and this is spreading out quite nicely. 
I always have issues with like the cuticle area when it comes to solid gels. I'm not really sure why, but I do. So I like to do good two thin coats and I get right up into that cuticle area and then I just pull it down. Now I used when I did that like ombre technique, you know, like the reverse ombre or reverse ombre French, I think is what it was called. I used Model 1's solid gels. So I've worked with solid gels before. I've used Betsy's before also. I know I haven't used them on camera, but I am. I will, I promise. I just ha haven't really had a chance, but I like this. It's nice and creamy and you get like a nice even thin coat. I always have to like clean up my cuticle area just because I make a mess. I'm like the worst nail channel on earth because I don't know how to do my cuticles. <laughs> but for real, I mean, honestly, people always ask me like, how do you get your right hand so perfect? Because that's my dominant hand. I use alcohol to clean up. Like I use a cleanup solution and make sure that everything is nice and clean. I'm, oh, I did not mean to stick that down there, but that's okay. I'm just going to kind of like add a little bit more onto my brush and just get really close to that cuticle area without, you know, without touching. And then that looks beautiful. I'm going to cure my thumb because I always cure my thumb separately. And then I'll come back and do the rest. All right, so I'm going to paint the other nails as well. And I will do two coats, obviously. Now we cure. Well, first we clean, then we cure. So now it is time to apply this gorgeous foil. I put on my thumb already and I'm really, really thinking about outlining the thumbnail with this silver gel liner from Bellavina. Like I'm, I'm so close to doing it. I tried it out, it looked really pretty and I might just go ahead and do that. But for now, I wanna do the rest of the nail. So I'm gonna do the middle finger just like my thumb and basically I just painted it white and then put the foil straight over the top, nothing special. This one is really pretty because it's got these like silver dandelions. If I can get the light to hit it perfectly, you can see them in there. And it almost looks like you drew that on yourself. So it's quite nice. But I think for the index finger, as per my inspo photo, I really want to sort of do like a smile line up by the cuticle. So you need to get one of these little smile line things out of here first. Now these are really like wide smile lines, so I might need to look and see if there are other ones because I'm gonna use that for one of my other fingers for like, you know, down by the end of the nail. All right, so I ended up buffing it off and just doing it with a brush. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. So I just dipped in here with a liner brush. I just basically mapped out what I wanted. I got a little too much on there right now. So I just kind of like, drew the smile line the way that I want it to. Now I'm just kind of cleaning everything up and, you know, filling in any gaps at this point. So it really doesn't need to be like 100% perfect because we're going to cover it with foil, but you know, you want it, you want the general shape to be good. So I just did it with a liner brush. It worked out easier for me. Now when I go to do the French nail, I'm going to use that French brush because I think that'll work out like perfectly. I think this looks good. I feel good about this and I feel good about the way it looks. So let me go ahead and cure this bad boy. Now we go in with the foil glue. Don't mind this. I spilled some of that metallic gel down there. So just ignore that. <laughs> so I'm going in with a super thin layer of this foil gel. And this one has to cure for 60 seconds and then you kind of have to let it cool. So I usually let it cool for about 30 seconds before I apply it. Now this liner right here should be clean, but let me just go ahead and wipe her off anyways, just in case, just so I can spread this gel out. And I will be cleaning up anything that goes past where I want it to be. Because remember, wherever you put this stuff, that is where the foil will go. So you want it where you want it, but you don't want it where you don't want it. Okay? Does that make sense? <laughs> and we got a little bit out of our, uh, out of where we want it to be. So I got to clean that up. All right. And I'm just going to take my brush. I'm going to dip it in some alcohol, wipe it off, and then go in and wipe off any of the gel that is out here where it should not be. So now I cure, 
and then we get to pick out what we want to put on and i'm obsessed with this foil i think this is from a cart but i'm not like 100 percent sure to be honest with you but it's pretty cool all right so i cut out the piece that i want and it's this section or wait a minute was it that yeah it's this section like right here so right here that's gonna go here so easy peasy lemon squeezy you just kind of place it down and press and hope for the best so i just literally press with my finger like a crazy person and push and like scrape with my fingernail yeah there are tools to do this but i don't trust the tools to be honest with you so i just use my fingernails and then i might even take one of these guys and just kind of rub with that until i feel like the pattern is stuck onto the nail and that looks so pretty i'm gonna outline this with this gel before i top coat because i think that'll look really pretty and i'm gonna scrape off the top of this brush so that none of that stuff goes and drops all over the place again because i hate that that happens it happens with every liner gel it's such a pain in the butt all right so i'm gonna outline this little smile line here because i think that'll look really pretty <laughs> so cute i do i do need to clean it up just a smidge but I like that. I like the way that looks. It just adds a little something to it. And I know you can't see a damn thing I just did, but that's what I did. I'm going to just clean up just a smidge to make it a little bit thinner. But I like that a lot. I think that that just looks so cute. So, on to the next. ta -da! Okay. So, for the sake of not repeating myself five times, I went ahead and I did the other nails. And now we're going to work on this finger. And this is going to be the accent finger. And I saw this picture on Pinterest and I thought... Well, it's a video, but I thought, oh my God, this is so pretty. They made like a heart shape. So that's what we're going to work on now. And I'm just going to get my white polish out. I'm trying to think, should I use my milky white or white? I think I'm going to go with white because I think the white background looks nice with this one. So let's do that. I need a palette. So give me one sec. All right. So I put a little white down. I'm going to start drawing the heart. And I'm going to need it in like the widest part of the nail, which is going to be about here. So I'm just going to draw a line down and then draw my heart. Fill that part in. It might need to be bigger than this, but we'll see. It definitely needs to be bigger because it's going all the way like to the sides. So gotta be big enough to basically for the foil to like fill it in i picked out a section on the foil that's got like three flowers kind of almost in a heart shape so that's what we're doing and then i may do some like filigree on the outside i i'm not really sure yet or i might just do some stones we'll see oh my god my hand is shaking do you see that it's like twitching so anyways, while I'm doing this, I started taking a handy depressant and I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I don't know if it's making me feel better. I'm feeling really tired lately, like beyond tired. Like I just have no energy. I've only been taking it for a few days now, but like today when my son was at school, normally like I'll clean the house, I'll do the dishes, like do all the stuff I have to do. I didn't do jack at least squat. I sat on my ass and did nothing because I couldn't. I physically could not like get up off that couch. Not only did my body not want to do it, my brain didn't want to do it. And it was just, I have never felt like that before. Like, I mean, I have started to feel like that because of the depression. I mean, like I can usually pull myself together. So I don't know if it's the depression that's doing this to me or if it's the medication, but regardless, it really sucks. Like I hate it so much. I hate that feeling of just not being able to get up and like go, you know? I've never felt like that before and that was kind of like why why I started this medication was to kind of combat that feeling but I almost I don't know if it's making it worse so if anybody has any experience with antidepressants please let me know I know they say like it's supposed to take a while to kind of kick in and you know do what it's supposed to do but I don't know I don't know man I don't know how I feel about this stuff <laughs> so all right, I'm liking the shape of this heart. I would say I did a pretty good job with it. I um, I think it looks pretty cute. Let me just kind of widen. I kind of want to widen like, oh, maybe not that much. I didn't want to widen it that much down there. But I do want to 
widen the space on the bottom. And then once I, once I cure this, then I'll look and see, is it gonna look good? Like, do I need to make it bigger? Do I need to make any adjustments to it? that sort of thing. I'm gonna go ahead, so far I'm happy with it, so I'm gonna cure it. And then I might do two coats just to make sure it's opaque. And then I will apply the nail foil glue and then we'll put it on. Okay, I'm ready to apply this. I cut this little piece out. Do not mind my orange hands, okay? Ugh. <laughs> I apply tanning drops to my face and I forgot to wash my hands, so now they look like this. Just ignore that. Just don't even look at it, okay? But I cut out this piece right here to put on my nail. So, let's do it. So I want these guys, like, right up here. There's no going back now. Excessively rub until you're happy, basically. I'm, like, scared if it's stuck on there. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. That's so cute. Oh, I love that idea. That's beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna bling. I'm gonna bling, bling, bling. So let me clean off my desk, get the bling out, and I'll be back. So cute. These are so cute. I'm obsessed. They're even prettier than I thought they were gonna be. Okay, let's get started, shall we? So I'm gonna use, I went ahead and I outlined with silver, like I said I was going to, on the thumb. And I'm probably gonna do the same thing to my pinky. I'm gonna go ahead and start blinging. And I'm gonna use this top coat to bling, because I think that's like what these things are for. You know, it's like a five in one top coat kind of thing. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna place my hands here and just get to work, all right? So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Breathtaking. Breathtaking. She is the moment. These nails are gorgeous. Don't mind the bad spray tan, but for real, like these are so beautiful. I'm obsessed with them. That little heart just, oh, it brought it together. The bling, the everything. Guys, I feel like I have been really like turning out some nails, but in all reality, I couldn't do it without these gels. Oh my God. The one that I chose to use was just used was so gorgeous. I didn't get to use everything in this little kit because there was just so much. I'm gonna use this brush cleaner though because I've got some brushes that definitely need some loving. So I might use that afterwards. But these gels, I gotta give a shout out to. And this top coat, I really love this top coat. The shine on her is so pretty and just the set to it and everything. So thank you so much, Burry Burry, for reaching out to me and sending me your products. I really did enjoy using them. God, this background is just disgusting. I really did enjoy using your gels. I thought that they were really easy to work with and just created such a lovely base for this nail look. Thank you so much to everyone that is watching. And please, if you are watching and have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot. It helps my channel grow and it helps the algorithm as well as liking my videos and commenting on my videos. That's what gets, you know, my videos put out there for other people to see. Also, don't forget to go check out my social media. I typically post on Instagram when the videos are coming out and then TikTok. I'll usually do like a cute little short form video 
and possibly post that on Instagram or YouTube as well. But definitely go to Instagram to find out when the videos are coming out because that is where I post first and foremost. Please, please, please just subscribe to this channel before you go. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that bell notification button so you never miss a mani with me. And don't forget to stick around next week when I unbox my Vetsy Valentine's box. I'll see you guys then. Bye. Thank you.